Right, so we're going to look at installing the PC software for Wires X, and this is a quick guide. So, head over to our web browser, um, and just search for Yesu, or type in the top yesu.com. Um, this one here is on Bing, uh, or you could use Google, or any, any search provider. Um, but like I say, you're at yesu.com. Then we are going to go to Products, Digital. Um, now we're going to do this on the FTM 400, uh, but I don't think, I think the software, let's have a quick look, it's actually under the HRI 200, um, anyway, so, yeah. Um, so you've got a few files here, uh, the top half is, is basically manuals and instructions, so there is a how-to guide there, you could download those, or just beneath that there is amateur radio software, um, then you've got the PC software update from last year, they've actually deleted the older version now by the looks of it, so we're going to go ahead and download the fourth software here, it's 45 megabytes, so it's not big at all, should only take a second or two. Um, now this web browser comes up with where do you want to save it? Um, in which case I'm going to click desktop because then it's going to be immediately accessible. Um, some do not. I will show you quickly. Alright, so same page, different web browser. If we go to files and then we want to download that file. It has actually come up, but it just says save file. Um, or open so we're going to click save file and if it doesn't appear on your desktop then it's set to save it somewhere else to access where it's normally saved to um, click the little windows logo down the bottom left now uh, this will vary depending on your computer I have this PC uh, as one of my icons here because I find it convenient um, I've added that so you can click uh, documents, documents. So then get a list down the side of where you want to go and if it didn't land on the desktop then the chances are it landed in the downloads folder um, I'll demo that by moving it to the downloads folder and there you are there it is so so the next bit we're going to double click on it this is a zip file you can see it down here it's basically just compressed uh, it makes it smaller to send uh, across the internet and then in here we've got a folder if you open the folder up we've got lots of files so what we'll do is take the whole lot out so we're literally going to grab this with the left click drag it to your desktop and it'll just take a moment or two to extract that we can then go ahead and close that you could then if you like go ahead and delete the zip file uh, so then this is all the files we're going to need um, in one hit there is an installer called installer.exe um, so we're going to go ahead and click that there is also a copy of the manual for you know installing and setting it up in here so if you didn't download it separately well that they're giving you a copy anyway that's going to throw up um, a warning box uh, this is basically just saying that um, some application is trying to make changes on your device so do you want to allow it well it's from a verified publisher and we know we got it from yesu so yeah why not now on my computer and i wanted to show you this this is from the exit so i get this um install path uh install parameter length error um and i have never successfully got it to work so if you get this don't panic not all is lost if you don't get this then it runs through the installer for you anyway those are the th well, three setup options there um, but again not all is lost so this folder on the left here um, says English US we're going to click on that and then inside is a YSX setup uh, and this is an MSI file which is the newer type of installer so we're going to double click that which could present us with this little box and again this is the same setup as you would run from the others so it really doesn't make a difference um, we're going to click next, um, then there is the uh, mandatory user license agreement, it seems to be included with just about everything. Please read every single word, and no, I'm joking, <laughs> just click accept. You can read it if you want, but I promise you it's, it's not really, um, it's basically just saying that if, we, if something happens to your computer it's not their fault. <laughs> anyway, so accept the terms and click next. Now it's going to ask you 
where it wants to install this. Um, um, several options here. Normally you want to leave this as default. So generally uh, things installed goes to program files. Um, it just keeps them all in one neat place. If you ever want to find something, then that's where it is. Um, the other choice here is enable YSX auto start. Uh, that basically when you log on to your computer, load up your computer, um, will load YSX software for you. So if it's on a family computer that, um, you know, people share, then you might not want that enabled. You might want to get rid of the auto start. That said, if someone else is on the computer and they've turned it on and then um, it will link to all the other stuff, it will do it in the background to a degree. So um, purely up to you. Not end of the world if you want to change your mind later on. I will show you that in another video. But for this instance, I'm going to turn that off. We're going to hit next. It would now say that the install is about to begin and we click install. This doesn't take long. It's not a horrifically big file. Um, it shouldn't take more than a minute or two. That will depend on your system. Um, again, you come up with a warning here. It, another program um, wants to use the computer as well is all that's saying yeah, you can see it's from Yasu and you pro uh, probably realize that is a part of what you've just agreed to so we'll say yes and that is it I promise you that was not edited that was the entire install of the YSX software so we click finish and done uh, and you'll now see on your desktop there is a YSX logo um, you can now get rid of the uh, install folder or it could be worth keeping a copy of these manuals somewhere or just keep that folder somewhere it's not big uh, it's 45 megs zipped up it's 56 megs unzipped um, it's not huge at all so it, it could just be shoved somewhere or um, I know a lot of people just leave everything on the desktop um, it's up to you it choices isn't it so I'm gonna I have several things on my desktop. You see a desktop fast. I don't like icons on my desktop, so I have a folder where they're, they're sort of just tucked out the way a little bit. So I'm going to drag that over to there, uh, and we're going to move that to there. So then it's out of the way, and I'm going to look at it. Right, now, I am not going to cover plugging in the radio. That is just installing the software. Um, if you haven't got this icon, then it probably didn't install. Um, you can check this if you go back to settings, windows and then settings, uh, and then you want apps. Um, and then this list here, it should be filtered by name alphabetically, well alphanumerically really, but alphabetically. So you can either leave it like that and scroll to the bottom, or where it says name here, um, it's not, let me resort that, is it? Well, I can sort by installation date, so that should bring it to the top because I've only just installed it. Um, but if not, like I say, the, the list is in alphabetical order, so scroll down. I appreciate you can't read that, but you can roughly read the letters we get to. Um, and then you'll see right here, Y is X, and you can modify, well, actually modify is grayed out or uninstall. If you end up having problems with the software, you can reinstall over the top. So we go back to this folder and we click that again. Um, and it comes up with this, it's slightly different. Um, we've got change, um, which means you can edit options. Mine is greyed out, so I can't use it. Repair, which means it's going to check what's installed on your computer versus the install files. Um, and then if there's a difference, then it will writes those files again to your hard drive um, potentially something's become corrupt or um, or just not working properly so it'll, it'll redo it for you or you can remove from your computer uh, and then you could reinstall again from scratch if you want that's up to you um, i am just going to cancel that because i know it's installed i've not installed it on this computer before so the next video will be about how to connect the radio and uh, the basics are getting you going on the software.